Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you do enjoy this wonderful video. My name is Renato, and you guys can call me Reanimations. And this, uh, this is gonna be a tutorial from my uh, a fifteen minute drawing session. Uh, normally, I will be doing uh, this sort of thing uh, later on. Uh, well, not later on, but like, you know, differently. This time around, I'm gonna be staring at the screen as it, you know, is being recorded from. To see more how uh, if I could get used to doing it like this, where I can kind of see you guys, I see myself a little, and you know, it will it doesn't look as much like if I'm looking down, uh, compared to what I'm doing normally. If anything, my eyes are just gonna be panning around at the screen, and I'm drawing a head, but this is not part of the uh, 15 minute drawing. Just for the 15 minute drawing. I have a timer. Let's see. Uh, and I put a shirt. Maybe this guy's, this person's wearing a tank top. Uh, if you go based upon the body, it's gonna be going down, up, and then on like that. And the same thing applies here. This one will get wrapped here, go up and then go down. And then you will have this sort of look right in this portion. Mouse. That's too much. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it, uh, a headset on a person. Like to draw headsets on a person. Luckily, I have a personal reference of a headset. Sorry for that loud bang right here. See? And I could be using this on me. I could position myself in an angle, maybe to face the, uh, the opposite angle. Well, actually, this way, it, it looks more like what that character is doing. But if I put my face forward like this, you guys can kind of see how the head is going to be. It's going to be partially showing through this side and partially show, uh, and mainly showing through this side. Okay, I'm only doing the head really roughly here so you guys can kind of see where uh, I'm placing everything. And the ear. Let's do a nice ear. Not too big, not too small. Do this. And then this is gonna be the the basis of it. I'm not gonna be very perfectionist about it. If anything, I'll just adjust. I will just adjust. Oh, I'll adjust this area right here a little. Move it to the side. Rotate it. And now nah, that is there. I'm trying to look forward, but uh, I was trying to look forward, but I just I'm so used to drawing while looking down that it's so uh, it's kind of uh, weird for me to do it like this. Okay, let's get started with the tutorial and also that 15 minute timer. Uh, I think this timer ignore the date right there it says uh, Sunday, but uh, for me it's Monday. I should just draw a video of the day uh, instead. I'm gonna edit that. I'm gonna click here, here. Oh, the day. I'm gonna click here. And then go back. It's the same amount of time. Let's get started with drawing headsets. Uh, first, you can use this sort of things. Uh, where is it? This tool right here to find out how big. You want their uh, the circle to be. Say I want it to be at least that big, right? Enough that you can put it around the ear. And you also want it to be kind of stretched out because of perspective. See how much it needs to get stretched out based upon how much the perspective is. And the more you stretch it, the more you have to shrink it. 
so just this more of a adjust and adjust and adjust and then after you feel like you got the right size and everything uh, you know place it Let's say I want it slightly more bigger yeah that, that seems about the right size and then you just trace around uh, make it smaller a lot smaller this will be the soft uh, cushioning part it kind of touches your ear a little for the time you don't see this portion and then this will be the outside so if we get that sort of understanding and then we were to draw the lines outwards like this uh, and then to that same circle too just move it to the side and then align it there and then just do this sort of thing get it down a little move it to the side I'm moving it to the side because of the fact that uh, it's going up and I want it to be a little bit to the side just get it down a little not too much move it inwards and yeah that that will be one uh, portion of it and this side also say it fill it up a lot more uh and do that move it in fill it down because of uh, the perspective obviously the cushion area and then afterwards what you can do is scale it down like this bring it somewhere in the center scale it up a little and adjust this so it kind of folds around the head a little kind of like how the headset is arcing and then you place it somewhere where it kind of meets both uh, both points enough and then um, afterwards you're gonna draw the line to connect it move it a little to this side and then draw the other line draw this line it gets cut off there and then afterwards draw another line that goes from there to there And just like that, we already got a headset, an idea of a headset. What we can do is turn down the opacity, add another layer, and on top of this layer, we're going to be doing all the drawing. Excuse me if I kind of like focus on looking down instead of looking at you guys. So, I'm trying to do it like really rough, not really perfect. I usually use a different brush, but like a different thing for drawing it, all of this. But and it, it looks a lot more crappier when I look forward because uh, all the lines are drawn off. Compared to me looking at this, that, and erasing the proportions, portions of it that don't really match. Move around. This portion, this right here is going to have this little mark right here. This is going to get cut off. Like if you're following it, I'm doing it like little dabs, like tap, 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 uh, because of the fact that I want this arc to be there, but I don't want to mess it up too much. It might be easier if you just use like a different type of tool than what I'm doing. Uh, or, you know, 
just do like really confident lines. Be confident in what you're drawing. Uh, sometimes that's all it takes. Be confident in what you draw. And all of a sudden, it just looks a lot better. I'll use this over here. Ooh, yeah, that looks a lot better. Yeah. And this and I have lines going in. Adjust this headset. At this point, I'm just adjusting some of the lines. Making sure that they look really kind of smooth. Uh, looking down, also uh, looking at my drawing every once in a while to, uh, from the screen so then I can kind of see how it looks to you guys. Because I don't really pay attention to, the, uh, to how it looks to you guys normally, but I want this drawing to look nice. I don't want it to look really, really, really messed up or anything like that. Like if we zoom out, you can barely tell that it, what you could tell that it has all this rough edges around here. That's because you saw me do the rough edges. If you just saw me do this really quickly, which is uh, which is probably why they tell you never to zoom into your drawings uh, too much. Ooh, that looks a lot better. Erase some of this though. Adjust, 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 and then you get it to look kind of nice. It's a perspective, it goes in a little bit more than what we think. Because, uh, like if I twist my head, I think it goes this way. It was uh, the head's like this. You can see a giant block that, uh, that kind of like does this sort of shape. Let's see, is this that goes down a little, goes in. And then obviously this portion right here. You don't really get to see much of this because of the face. So I'm gonna cut off some of this. I could rough in the shape uh, the, uh, the shape of the head. Uh, and then go back to you guys afterwards. See. Let's zoom out a little, and then all of a sudden, some of those rough lines that uh, that I thought that were really, really rough don't look as rough. All right, somewhere right here, and that uh, yeah, that looks nice. I erase this. Now, uh, let's see what we have gotten done. If I uh, had that and that. This is the headset that I've gotten done on it. Uh, and if anything, it needs to build some of, the, uh, some of the back of the head. And it looks really nice. Okay. This is how you draw headsets on characters. Uh, I'm not a really good example of drawing headsets. Uh, because I don't really tend to draw headsets on characters very often. Not because I'm not uh, good at it, but because I just don't feel like it. Yeah, yeah if you're ever drawing something like this, just do it very rough at first, and then afterwards adjust and adjust and adjust, and then it's gonna look really pretty. Here will be the logo of uh, the headset, or if you want, just have like a play button.
which is pretty much just a triangle. And then just fill it in, that sort of thing. And then if you do it in the side like this, what you could do afterwards is that you could uh, take it and place it wherever you want. Uh, we're kind of done with this uh, video like really early. So I wanted just to do a really rough drawing. I didn't want to go all out and make something really, really okay, cool looking for you guys uh, around this time. Maybe I'll just like add eyes to this character. If you're trying to draw some rough uh, details like this, don't have the circle tool thing. Uh, or the adjustable lines for uh, to make circle tool enabled because that's gonna actually restrict you in the long run. I put on my headset because initially. Uh, no, I have not. I'll be downloading it pretty soon though. And, you know, you could do this sort of shape. And voila. Take this, make it into tank top or yeah, I don't know what type of shirt you want to have for your, uh, your characters. I think we're in the last two minutes and I've already done a really decent character. Let's say I wanted to add hair to this character. This was supposed to be a head to drawing tutorial. So. But instead, I'm going out of my way to clean up a lot of the work. I'm just drawing very rough, very not, uh, not stylized. Okay. Uh, very rough looking hair, it's not supposed to be very perfect, not supposed to look really nice or decent. And in the process, maybe you want like a, 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 a cable hanging off of it, so then you're gonna have like this little piece like that that's really big, and then you want the cable to be a solid string. Maybe you want to have this person holding a phone, but you put the arm on. Let's pretend that uh, this is the triangle and piece. Kind of like if you're uh, doing, what's it called? Right, a, a hand. Because this is the hand, so if we're trying to break it down into simple shapes, uh, that's what we're doing. Or at least this is what I'm doing. Breaking it down into simple shapes. Maybe this person's like tapping on the phone. Oh, I felt like I got a text at the same time that, <laughs> that I ended and that I'm almost done with this video. And the timer went off for you guys or for me so that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you guys did like it like my little drawing of this character uh, that's just looking to the side and has like really big headsets obviously my headsets are not that big but you know if you were to exaggerate it that would be pretty big uh, he had pretty big uh, what's it called ears to begin with so that makes sense if you did like this video, make sure to leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike if you want to comment down below and have me respond to it, you know. 
feel free to do that also. Uh, over here, you will see my channel, and uh, above me, you will see the uh, the latest video, which more uh, more than likely is a figure drawing video, because I tend to post those before a, I post any of the daily drawings. I do a daily figure drawing video, where it's just 10 minutes of me drawing uh, poses, and then I do a daily drawing, which could be literally anything. And then I post it on Instagram, the same drawing that you're seeing right now. Sometimes I even go out of my way to color it for you guys out there. And, but not on video. If you guys do want me to see it, well, want to see more coloring videos uh, and so on and so forth, just let me know. I'll do that too. Uh, anyways, have a good one. Peace.